Minister, food security has always been a major issue for Singapore. About 90% of the food here is imported from overseas. Is there any risk of a food shortage at this point? Uh, at this point in time, we don't foresee that, but we are watching the situation closely. Now, why are we slightly more confident on this uh, this point in time is because we have a combination of different strategies to ensure the continuity of our food supplies. This includes a diversification of our sources of uh, import, uh, stockpiling over the years and also some local production capabilities. Now what is most fluid at this point in time is the diversification strategies because as different countries and different parts of the world get progressively locked down, we have to constantly review our supply lines to make sure that before a particular supply line is even terminated or disrupted, we have to open up new supply lines to bring in the necessary products and produce for Singapore. And I think we have been able to do this quite successfully over the last few weeks. But there's not room for complacency because this is almost a daily process to keep reviewing our supply lines two, three weeks, if not two, three months ahead of the curve so that we can bring in the supplies as necessary. Now, the stockpile that we have built up over the years have allowed us uh, some degree of resilience because it buys us time, even if there's a short-term termination of any particular supply lines. But even then, uh, for a small country like us, uh, we must make sure that we are never complacent and we constantly review how much we can stockpile uh, based on the cost, based on the frequency of resupplies. But one of the last things that we need to do well is to make sure that we have some domestic uh, production capabilities so that can augment both the stockpile and the diversification strategies. And when the circuit breaker measures were announced, we saw many Singaporeans rushing to the supermarket to stockpile supplies. Obviously, the government's very keen to not see that type of behaviour continuing. But what measures is the government putting in place or can put in place to ensure that prices don't spike due to this escalation in demand and concerns about supply? I think the most important measure that we can do is to make sure that we have robust and diverse uh, supply lines. That would prevent the prices from uh, hiking up or spiking up uh, too quickly in the short term. And we must be able to make sure that we are able to accept alternatives or substitutes so that we have a variety of sources and not be held ransom to any particular source. Martin, come back on in here. Minister, uh, yes, uh, thank you. I'm wondering uh, what your thoughts are. I I've heard anecdotal evidence that uh, hawkers in Singapore are finding it so difficult to get eggs rather than being able to get them from their wholesalers. They're being forced to go to supermarkets to buy their eggs and they'll have to fight with, uh, you know, people like uh, you and me. Equally so, bakeries are having difficulty getting access to one of their main ingredients, flour, from their wholesalers. And they are having to buy it from supermarkets where they're forced to compete with uh, uh, retail customers like you and me as, as well. Are, are you hearing similar stories and, 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 and uh, how much of a concern is that for you? Uh, Martin? I don't think that is a correct representation of what we are seeing at this point in time. Certainly there are some disruption to parts of the supply chain, especially for some of the small retailers. But I think by and large at the macro level, the supply of eggs, uh, carbohydrates and uh, proteins for Singaporeans are largely intact. And that's part of the reason is because our large uh, retailers or suppliers have been able to continue to access their supply chains uh, quite uh, smoothly at this point in time. So they might have to shift between the retailers, but overall, at the macro level, uh, we are not facing a shortage at this point in time. 